I'm Monica Robbins with your top health headlines. Respiratory virus season is ramping up, including influenza, but some are pointing to a Cleveland Clinic study of last year's flu shot as a reason not to get one this year. The study author, chair of the Department of Infectious Disease, Dr. Stephen Gordon, wanted to clarify a few points of that study. First, it looked at last season's vaccine, not this year's. And each year, vaccines are formulated to hopefully include the variants that will be circulating. But it's always a gamble. The study examined the flu shot's effectiveness in mostly healthy adult healthcare workers last season. The data showed the incidence of influenza was higher among vaccinated individuals than unvaccinated ones. The reason for this is unclear, but could be related to an un recognized confounder. One possibility, mid-season, the subclade K variant started circulating, which was not covered in last year's flu shot. Study participants did not represent the general public. No children, elderly, or immunocompromised were included. Of 43,000 vaccinated participants, a small number contracted influenza. The study only focused on infection rates. It did not assess severe illness or hospitalization, which vaccines are shown to reduce. The study found last year's vaccine was not a good match for the circulating virus, but that cannot predict the efficacy of this year's vaccine. So Cleveland Clinic still endorses flu vaccination as the best step to lessen flu infections for everyone over six months old. This year's flu shot is expected to offer some protection against the emerging subclade K variant, but like all wily viruses, it continues to mutate, so it may not block infection perfectly, but it may lessen serious illness. If you have questions, talk to your health care provider or pharmacist about your options. In other health news, a new American Cancer Society study shows cancer mortality rates remain significantly higher among certain groups despite advances in treatment and prevention. Black, American Indian, and Alaska Native people continue to have a higher level of cancer death. Black males face a 14% higher cancer death rate than white males, while American Indian and Alaska Native females face a 22% higher rate. But education levels show even larger disparities. People with a high school degree or less experience cancer mortality rates up to two and a half times higher than college graduates. For lung cancer specifically, that gap widens to four to five times higher. These disparities align with social determinants of health and are related to poverty levels as well. ACS says improving access to screening and treatment could close these gaps and save lives. I'm Monica Robbins, and that's your Daily Dose.